DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a complex molecule found in all living organisms that carries genetic information. It is often referred to as the molecule of life, as it plays a crucial role in the development, growth, and reproduction of all living things. The importance of DNA lies in the fact that it carries the instructions for the structure and function of all living organisms. It controls everything from the color of our eyes to our susceptibility to certain diseases. In this video, we will explore the structure of DNA, how it replicates, its role in genetics, and the impact of DNA research on various fields. We will also discuss the history of DNA sequencing, its methods and applications, and the legal and ethical implications of DNA testing. The structure of DNA. The discovery of DNA's structure is attributed to James Watson and Francis Crick in 1953. However, the discovery was built upon the work of many scientists, including Rosalind Franklin, who provided the key X-ray crystallography images of DNA. The double helix structure of DNA is one of the most well-known features of the molecule. It consists of two complementary strands of nucleotides that wind around each other in a helical shape. The nucleotides are held together by hydrogen bonds between complementary base pairs, adenine A with thymine T and guanine G with cytosine C. The chemical composition of DNA consists of four types of nucleotides, adenine A, thymine T, guanine G, and cytosine C. Each nucleotide is composed of a sugar molecule, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. The nitrogenous base determines the genetic code and pairs with its complementary base on the opposite strand to form the rungs of the DNA ladder. The sugar molecule in DNA is deoxyribose, which gives the molecule its name, deoxyribonucleic acid. The phosphate groups form the backbone of the molecule and link the nucleotides together. Together, the four nucleotides, sugar molecules, and phosphate groups form the basic building blocks of DNA's structure. DNA replication. The importance of DNA replication lies in the fact that it is essential for cell division, growth, and repair. Without DNA replication, cells would not be able to pass on genetic information to their daughter cells, leading to genetic disorders and cell death. The process of DNA replication involves several steps. First, the double helix structure of DNA must be unwound and separated by an enzyme called helicase. Then, an enzyme called primase adds RNA primers to the separated strands, which serve as starting points for DNA polymerase to add nucleotides to the growing strands. DNA polymerase adds nucleotides in the 5 to 3 direction, and the complementary strands are synthesized in opposite directions, resulting in leading and lagging strands. Errors and mutations can occur during DNA replication, leading to changes in the genetic code. DNA polymerase has a proofreading function that can detect and correct errors during replication. However, errors can still occur, especially when the DNA is exposed to environmental factors such as UV radiation or chemicals. Mutations can also arise when the proofreading function fails or is overwhelmed by the number of errors. Mutations can be harmful, beneficial, or neutral depending on the location and type of mutation. Harmful mutations can lead to genetic disorders or diseases, while beneficial mutations can provide an advantage in certain environments. Neutral mutations have no effect on the organism's fitness. 
the accumulation of mutations over time is also a driving force behind evolution. The Role of DNA in Genetics The genetic code is the set of rules by which DNA is translated into the amino acid sequences that make up proteins. The genetic code is based on the sequence of nucleotides in DNA, with each codon, or sequence of three nucleotides, specifying a specific amino acid. The genetic code is nearly universal, with few variations between organisms. Gene expression is the process by which the information encoded in DNA is used to create functional proteins. Gene expression involves several steps, including transcription, where DNA is used as a template to create a complementary RNA molecule, and translation, where the RNA molecule is used as a template to synthesize a protein. Gene expression is tightly regulated to ensure that proteins are synthesized only when and where they are needed. Genetic variations are differences in DNA sequence between individuals. These variations can arise through a variety of mechanisms, including mutations, recombination, and genetic drift. Some genetic variations can have a significant impact on an individual's health or physical characteristics, while others may have no effect. Inheritance is the process by which genetic information is passed down from parents to offspring. The inheritance of traits is determined by the transmission of genes from parent to offspring. The study of inheritance is known as genetics and has led to a better understanding of how genetic variations can be passed down from generation to generation. Overall, DNA plays a crucial role in genetics by providing the instructions for the development, growth, and reproduction of all living organisms. The genetic code, gene expression, genetic variations, and inheritance are all key aspects of DNA's role in genetics. DNA Sequencing History of DNA sequencing began with the discovery of the double helix structure of DNA, which allowed scientists to start investigating the nucleotide sequence of DNA. The first DNA sequencing method was developed by Frederick Sanger in the 1970s, using a method called chain termination, or Sanger sequencing. This method allowed scientists to determine the order of nucleotides in a DNA molecule by using a DNA polymerase to synthesize complementary strands of DNA and terminating the synthesis at specific nucleotides. In the decades since then, numerous DNA sequencing methods have been developed that are faster, more accurate, and more affordable. DNA sequencing methods have evolved rapidly since the 1970s. Current DNA sequencing technologies include next-generation sequencing, or NGS, and third-generation sequencing, or TGS, technologies. NGS methods use a variety of techniques to simultaneously sequence millions of DNA fragments in parallel, while TGS methods sequence individual DNA strands in real time. Applications of DNA sequencing are numerous and varied. DNA sequencing has been used in medicine to diagnose genetic diseases, determine the genetic basis of cancer, and personalize medical treatments. In agriculture, DNA sequencing has been used to improve crop yields and identify genetic traits for breeding purposes. In environmental science, DNA sequencing has been used to identify microbial communities in soil and water, track the spread of invasive species, and monitor biodiversity. DNA sequencing is also a crucial tool in research to understand the genetics of various organisms and diseases. Overall, DNA sequencing has revolutionized the way scientists study DNA 
and its role in biology, medicine, and other fields. As DNA sequencing technologies continue to improve, they are likely to play an increasingly important role in many areas of research and industry. The Impact of DNA Research DNA research has had a significant impact on many aspects of human health and has transformed our understanding of genetics, evolution, and health. Here are some of the major impacts of DNA research. Medical breakthroughs and personalized medicine. DNA research has led to numerous medical breakthroughs, including the discovery of the genetic basis of many diseases and the development of personalized treatments based on an individual's genetic profile. DNA testing has also become a valuable tool in diagnosing and treating diseases identifying genetic predispositions to certain conditions, and improving the accuracy of medical diagnoses. Evolutionary Studies and Genetic Ancestry DNA research has transformed our understanding of evolution and human ancestry. Genetic studies have allowed scientists to trace the migration patterns of early humans and to identify genetic variations that are unique to certain populations. DNA testing has also become a popular tool for tracing genealogies and exploring ancestry. Legal and Ethical Implications of DNA Testing The widespread use of DNA testing has raised important legal and ethical issues. For example, DNA evidence has become a powerful tool in criminal investigations and can help to exonerate individuals who have been wrongfully accused. However, the use of DNA evidence raises important privacy concerns, and there is ongoing debate about the appropriate use of DNA testing in law enforcement and in other contexts. Overall, DNA research has had a profound impact on many aspects of human life and has the potential to continue driving scientific and medical advances in the future. However, as with any powerful technology, it is important to consider the legal, ethical, and social implications of DNA research and to ensure that it is used in ways that promote the well-being of individuals and society as a whole. As DNA research continues to evolve and expand, it is important for individuals to stay informed about its ongoing importance and the implications of its use. Learning more about DNA can help individuals understand how it impacts their health, ancestry, and identity, and can contribute to informed decision-making about issues related to DNA testing, research, and privacy. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the channel.